All right, this is our 2020 vintage up to Red Mountain. Um, so this is always a traditional left bank Bordeaux style blend, I think except for maybe a couple years when it was more Merlot dominant. Uh, but this is the wine that started Fidelitas back in 2000. It was called Meritage for a couple vintages and then switched over to Optu. Um, so this is really our reserve style blend that we make every year that showcases a bunch of different growing sites um, all across Red Mountain. Um, so it's in this vintage, I'm going to cheat off the back of the bottle, about 66% Cab, 20% Merlot, and a little bit of Cab Franc, a little bit of Petit Bordeaux and it is aged in about 60% new French oak and a little bit of uh, American oak as well. Yeah, so I think what of note with this wine especially is that, as Will mentioned, we've made this every vintage we've been in existence. So 21st release of this wine. Um, and the other thing is, is we, you know, as everybody knows, we make, you know, all these uh, vineyard designated wines from Heart of the Hill, which we, uh, which you'll see the video on, as well as Seal de Cheval, Quintessence, our state. But the base of this wine is different. It's um, it's from, you know, Canyons, which is next to us, um, as well as uh, Clipson, and both of those have a tendency to be kind of on the west side of the, the AVA, uh, and we really like working with, with that fruit. Uh, there is some. Kiona and um, Clips and Merlot in this as well. So it, it kind of sets itself apart a little bit from some of the other wines and uh, that makes it fun to put together. And, you know, for you as a customer and a Fidelitas drinker, it's, you know, distinctively different than, than our other blends and our, and our other wines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really high quality growing sites. And, um, you know, they just help us make that base of this blend and make a really solid, complex blend every year. Great on the palate, really nice, long, very interesting uh, finish. Um, and maybe, you know, one of those, you, as you taste it again, it's pretty drinkable on release here, uh, but we'll age, age out and everybody's kind of on a different place on that spectrum. You know, a lot of people buy them and drink them. A lot of people will just, you know, never even look at this, you know, for five years. So um, mm -hmm. it'll work for that, but I'll, you know, no, not super ageable vintage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we, we try and update our uh, notes that we give out with each release that kind of gives our recommendations for aging as we're going through and tasting things. But I think the best uh, way to go about that is just try it yourself and uh, see what sort of age, whether it's five years, ten years, somewhere in between, um, you know, fits your palate best. But I think my favorite thing about this wine in this vintage is just uh, the complexity on the aroma, the palate, the finish. I think all the different vineyard blocks and the varieties yeah. that we're using on this. Um, yeah, definitely a lot well. of stuff going on in this wine for yeah. sure. Uh, that makes it, you know, super fun and distinctive and different. Mm -hmm. Really good food pairing wine too. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.